Hey yeah, everyone, Kenro here and today we are playing Alina Battle Angel. Oh wait wait, Alina of the Arena. It's currently on early access on Steam and it's developed and published by Pinix or Pinix? Anyway, this is a roguelike, a deck builder, card battler, strategy game all rolled into one. Some say it feels like Slay the Spire and Into the Breach had a love child. And I guess after my recent couple runs, I kinda agree. This is the demo version I am playing by the way, but I do have this on my wishlist already. As usual, just waiting for it to go on sale. Anyways, enough chit chat and let us do a brand new run. Oh, and hey, look at this. I actually thought this was a uh, shield because she has a sword here and then this would, this would be a shield, right? But I just noticed upon looking closer that it's actually the head that she's holding up, which she probably have decapitated you know, from this corpse right here, the monster. <laughs> All right, anyway, okay, that's a uh, that's cool. So let's press play here. There's two levels of difficulty, at least for now. There's the rookie easy difficulty, and there's the pro, which I think on my the, the first two runs that I made, I did pro anyway. So let's just go pro. How's it going, everyone? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying safe. And as always, thank you for tuning in to my channel. So. Let's see what we have here. So we have 16 encounters here. Consider this an entire level or act if you are playing if you played Slay the Spire before. Now for the demo version, I think we're only allowed to finish one level or act. And I'm not sure if um it's the same as other roguelites or maybe even Slay the Spire, where for the entire run you'll have to finish three levels or acts and then that's it that's the run anyway for the demo like i said you can only finish one this particular act here or level and to be able to do that or finish this level or act you'll have to meet the requirements here which is f win five fights to face the champion and i guess you know win against the champion now before you can face the champion you'll have to win five fights so five out of the eight encounters and there's also an, op an option here, when you win the 5 fights, you can go straight for the champion. So, each encounter that you skip, because you went straight for the champion, will give you 4 HP. For example, we have 1, 2, well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 fights here. This is the 5th fight. If you, if you, we win this all 4 here and the 5th. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we'll still have like 8 cards or 8 encounters, right? That we can choose to skip and for each one will give us four points so that's eight times four thirty two if my math is correct now there are some other types of encounters as you notice there's rest meditate shop so there's no really re really a reason why you should skip this one i get unless you really want those hp or desperate for those hp but i'll probably would rather encounter these and find out like where this one, you can actually heal here. I forgot what the amount of healing that a rest can give you. I think it's 30 HP, right? So it's much better to... If you're really desperate for HP, then yeah, you'll probably want to instead heal here or rest here. Etc, etc. So I'll probably... We'll probably uh, know more about each encounter and the fight and more of the mechanics as we go along and play the game. Okay? But before we dive in, one important thing to note here or mechanic here that I would like to discuss is if you notice we have a left and right hand slot here which are color coded the left one is pink or red the right one is blue so we also have like an item slot here maybe consumable I'm not sure if you can only put consumables here but let's concentrate first on the, the color coded one so this matters because this will affect the cards that you have in your deck if you notice on your cards you'll have color coded cards as well you have the red color ones and you have the blue colored ones and you have the gray or neutral cards here so if you put a sword here or a weapon here a damage dealing item here or well i guess let's just say a sword normally the swords will buff up damage dealing cards now the thing is since you put it your weapon or sword on the left hand slot here which is red 
it will only affect your red colored cards and it will also only buff up any cards that you have that deals damage, right? So it will actually mention in the sword that it will give you a plus 2 or plus 3 to your damage. So obviously, if you do a block, that won't, you know, the sword will not enhance your block, right? So similarly, if you put, let's say, another sword here, or let's say, no, let's, let's say you put a shield here. So you're going sword and board. So this is color blue, it will only affect your blue colored cards and it will also, the shield buff will only affect your guard uh, cards, the, the one that gives you blocks. So not only guard but any other cards that gives you a block. So the shield in your blue hand slot will only affect those. It will not affect your strike cards in your blue strike cards. And it, since it's color blue, it will not affect your red block cards at all and vice versa if you have a red sword here sorry a sword in your red hand slot it will not affect your blue colored strike or combat cards yeah sorry strike cards there you are damage dealing cards so i hope i wasn't confusing there but yeah we'll see that again as we go along with the all of the encounters here so let's now start our first fight so let's see what our first fight is. There you go. Okay. Each card performs an action and costs energy to play. This is our energy here. Both your cards and energy do not carry over turns, so try to make the most of them. Okay, so the cards get discarded unless there's a mechanic in the card that says it will stay in your hand. Like any other card battler or, uh, yeah, uh, games out there. An initiative is added to your hand at the start of each turn. Because of the card's elim eliminable opener property, you must choose whether to play it first. Decide if you need to reposition yourself before you do anything else. Okay. So yeah, if you notice this initiative or action card, it says eliminable opener. And eliminable opener, this card will be eliminated if it's not played first. Remove from deck permanently. That's the eliminate keyword right there. So if you notice, it's not part of our card or deck list, right? It's just given to you by the game at the start of each of your turn. So we drew, so we can draw five cards plus the initiative card. So we have six every time in our hand. So this is where the color coded thing matters. Right now we don't have any weapon or shield. So that's why any card that we have is not buffed at all, right? They just deal their normal stuff. So let's see here. These are energy. The, as Similar to other games of this type. Uh, the enemy, it is shown here what their intent is. So like on the left side here, it says the, the enemy prepares to deal 4 damage. And the range is where the, cir the red circles are. If you don't step on the red circle, you'll actually not get hit. Similarly here, if we do a strike, so it highlights the range. So this is a melee weapon, so it only affects those yellow tiles or circles around you. Yeah, so if you have a range weapon, most of the time or normally they would have a longer range, right? Maybe two tiles or three tiles. So yeah, right now, if we want to hit the enemy, we'll have to move probably right here yeah our range is also just one circle for this particular card move one tile so let's move one tile here that consumed one energy we only have two now so the enemy is only going to deal four damage so we can guard there you go and we'll be able to block four damage and now we can strike the enemy for four and there's combo points here. We'll probably discuss that if we get a card that uh, takes advantage of combo points. Let's end the turn. There you go. Gain block by playing defensive cards. Block reduces the damage you receive. However, all block is removed at the start of each turn. So play them only when they are needed. Yep. And then the tutorial will probably discuss to us the difference between our block and the enemy's block. Uh, let's see. I don't need to reposition myself. 
we do have a gray or neutral card heal here called wind up which is a buff card so it gives us one kinetic and each kinetic buff will make our damage uh will, will enable us to deal double damage so one thing to note by the way is if you actually knock back your enemy to the wall so if the enemy was already here in this tile and i do a knockback the enemy will will be stunned well normally uh maybe weaker enemies but i'm not sure about the elites or bosses if it can do that as well so let's see i don't really need to reposition and waste one energy so i'll just do a guard and wind up i can do a slam but it will move me here i think and then the enemy here so and it will add one fatigue card to us which does nothing so i'll just probably do strike okay there you go so we actually have oh when your draw pile is empty when your draw pile is empty drawing another card will shuffle all cards in your discard pile back into your draw pile yep it was actually a crossbow here as you can see on the right hand side here this is like the ground slot it shows you what's in the ground for that particular tile for example if i hover here it shows that there's a rock in that particular tile in the ground so there's a crossbow here which is a ranged weapon so if you notice there's a keyword there that says reload requires one damage dealing combat of matching color to reload after each use so you won't be able to use the crossbow repeatedly because you need to reload it first as well and you need the matching combat or damage dealing combat card uh yeah to be able to reload and not just any other colored card so again this bloke will intends to deal four damage but i think we have en enough energy and cards to be able to uh, defeat this so one no not guard strike there you go and the crowd actually gives you or showers you with you know money and maybe other items and similar to other games like this you'll you get rewarded usually with either a card or an artifact but normally it's i think it's card unless it's an elite or boss maybe it gives you a choice of artifacts and maybe items or weapons so anyway for this one it rewards us with cards uh improvise i like this one i like the wind up as well deal five damage let me just uh, pause of the video here and then get back to you once i've uh... so i'll hover around these and you know let you so that you you'll know what each does so anyway let's pause the video for now all of these are great choices so i but i am more inclined to e pick either this one or this one this one costs 2, but if you notice, it's 12 damage, and it's an equivalent of 3 of your strike cards combined, right? For one less energy. But the wind-up is also really good. You know what? I'll just do the wind-up for now. So, place weapons in the colored hand slots to enhance combat. Yep. Uh, enhance combo car combat cards of the same color. Manage your weapons wisely to increase your fighting potential. Yep. And we actually have the crossbow. We can place it here for now. Okay. And we will see the effect on the next fight. Alright, so now we can choose either of these three here. We can go to the shop, but we only have 30 gold. We can meditate as well to either create a card, forget a card, or switch a card. And I think, I'm not sure, no, I think the shop is the one that will, that will cost you, but this one I think is free. So if you notice, we only now need to win four, four fights instead of five, right? Because we've, we've won the first, first fight. So let's do meditate. And do we need to switch cards? Yeah, I'll probably want to switch cards so that all of my... I guess my plan here is 
the left hand I will concentrate for weapons and the blue or the right hand the blue one is I'll concentrate for block I can go dual wield but you know what um, for now I think I'll just do sword and board or a weapon and a shield so I might want to switch the strike card to here because right now we only have a crossbow and we'll need more strike cards to be able to make sure that we'll to make sure that we'll be able to reload <laughs> all right the uh the weapon we can also try to forget instead like remove this guard here so that it will only it will increase our chances to just get swords right but yeah so either one of these is good and maybe also create one but i'll probably just switch let's see switch the strike card there you go it will now be a red card and now we have four strike cards on the left red hand side and now i think i'm gonna just do fight first before i do a shop i'll do this one there you go now the fights do get harder so if you notice the strike cards here are now buffed up for the red colored one it's now six because the crossbow increases damage by two but if you notice the blue cards are not affected right so let's see here these guys plans to plan to immobilize us so if we don't move out of their range like this they will pin me this one will not be able to hit me yet but I don't think this one damages they just immobilize so I don't really need to guard for now. I can just maximize my attack. And I need two strike cards of the red color to be able to strike and then reload this. But I don't have it. I only have a red and a blue. Which is 10 damage unless I wind it up. So let's wind up. And then let's strike this one. There you go. Weapons with the reload property must expend one damage dealing combat card of matching color to reload. This can be done by selecting the card and selecting your character. Okay. We don't have that for now. But we can kill this block. There you go. And we got showered with a heavy... Oh, it's just a... Uh, no. It's not a heavy crossbow. This is a rusty crossbow. This is an ordinary or a normal, normal crossbow. Which actually buffs the damage by 3 instead of just 2. It still requires a reload though. So, let's end the turn. Okay, now I'm immobilized. Unable to move, counter-attacking removes the effect. Okay. Uh, let's see. I probably should have moved here, right? Yeah, my bad. So we can reload now and then do a damage, but I will get hit by 6 here. I don't think I can move. If I try to move, let's say here, it won't let me see. It's snagged. You can't move. I can do a block for 1. And I can do a reload. And then I can strike for 6 with this guy. So let me strike this guy right here so now I'm not immobilized but I will get hit for 11 and that's bad because like I said I should have moved here before so I I wouldn't have been immobilized Ooh, what a noob yeah unnecessary unnecessary damage or yeah okay I can move and then do a wind up maybe and do a strike for eight yep i can do a slam but it will give us an exhaust and it only deals two damage and it's a waste of energy i think for now so the only thing is if you do a slam against on an enemy to, towards the wall let's say if the enemy is here and you did a slam towards the wall the enemy will get knocked or stunned 
but now it won't so I will just do initiative right here do a wind up and kill this block right here there you go right. so let's see we are a ranged weapon by the way so we can go here reload I'd probably do a wind up first because the wind up the buff actually lasts more than one turn so just to show you here so this one we will deal two damage next on our next attack so if you notice if I end the turn it stays there which is you know good right so now I'll be able to deal 12 damage to her or to him I'm not sure so 12 Unfortunately, I don't have... I can block for 2, right? And that means they won't be able... The enemy won't be able to damage me. But I won't be able to reload. But you know what? Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Okay, uh, let's see here. I do have a wind-up. But I won't be able to. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Do a wind up. This is just 8 damage, so I'll just block. And then, yeah, I'll do this one here. Okay, so again, I won't take an HP loss. There you go. Only 1 HP remaining, so there's no point. Just strike. Bam. Now the thing that you will notice is if you don't actually, so you get showered, right, by, well, I guess, how well you performed. And then you get this reward card right here, which let's try to do first. Energize. Status cards cost zero for one turn. Gain two energize. Okay. Three energy. Deal 14 damage. Reduced by one each time you lose HP this fight. Ooh. Deal 14 damage, if target dies, receive rewards from the audience. Ooh, wow. And, but this gets exhausted. This one doesn't, but... This one is 3 energy, but it reduces 1 energy each time we lose HP. I think this one's actually good. Both of these. Uh, this one's just for status cards, though. Which you could get in this game, you know. As you play, sometimes enemies can give exhaust to you or fatigue. And some weapons actually do give you fatigue. Okay, I'll probably just do this one. And it's also properly matched, you know, the color. To the, our weapon slot, to our weapon color. So, no need, no need to switch it to maximize its... Uh, Okay, now we do have a crossbow here, which we can do here. We can actually equip two crossbows. So imagine our gladiator now, when he, he or she enters the arena, he's du dual wielding two crossbows. <laughs> okay, and we can put the shield here. If you actually don't, let's say, want this, uh, if we click this uh, X here, it will sell for one gold. Um, for now... I don't know, maybe I'll just put it right like this, and then I can sell it later, right? At least this way, we don't have a shield option yet anyway. Might as well put this here so that in case in a turn I do, I get a lot of blue damage cards, then I can take advantage of it. So there you go. Alright, we have, have 61 gold. I can rest. Let's try to rest and see, you know, just to show you what happens. So it will restore 30 HP, but I can instead upgrade the card. If I upgrade this, 18 damage. Okay, I, th I was hoping that it will be like 2 energy. Like similar here, it's now 0 cost, which is very good. Slam is now 0 cost. What else did we get? Okay. The strike card will be 7. 
which makes it now worthwhile to stay in the to stay in the deck. But I think I'm gonna do wind up. Yeah, I'm gonna do wind up. There you go. Now it's zero cost. All right, we can go to the shop, but I don't think we have enough gold yet. I'm not sure. And we still have 61 HP anyway, so let's just continue fighting. Ooh, I haven't encountered this enemy before. It looks like it looks like they deal a lot of damage. Okay. If I stay here, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I will get dinged for a lot of damage. So I'll do an initiative here. There's another mechanic that they added to the game, the movement, which I really like and it jives well with the theme, right, of the game, which is an arena. So positioning positioning does matter or really matters here. So, anyway, let's see. I only have wind ups and so let's wind up anyway. And yep, yeah, nothing else. So I want to, to do another wind up. But the thing is, this will deal 8 damage. So might as well just do a shield and a shield. This one, one. Gain 40 block. Remove from deck permanently. Right. There you go. Hopefully, I'll have. Ooh. Wait. I lost. No, I didn't lose an HP, so that's why it's like that. Ooh, but I can kill someone if I want to, but... Yeah, I don't really need 34 damage right now, so... I'll just do an initiative here. And then I can strike for 12... For 14. That kills this guy. I can still do another... 6 damage to this guy. See, do a wielding crossbows! <laughs> right. Oh, do I have another crossbow here? Alright, let's end the turn. But the problem is, next turn, I'll need to reload one of them, right? I don't think... Yeah, I think I can reload both of them if it permits, and I can still do my initiative. Ooh, wow. They, they actually flanked me. Nice. So, wherever I move, I will get dinged. Oh my god. Oh, unless I do a slam. Oh, so I can show you what this does. Uh, unfortunately, they will not. It will not enable me to knock an enemy to the wall, so that's a problem. But since I am ranged, I can actually move a lot further from them. So I can do a slam right now, but it will give me a fatigue card. As you can see here, yeah, that gave me a fatigue card, and if for me to to remove it from the game or perma from the deck permanently, I'll need to spend one energy and play it. But I don't think fatigues, fatigue cards remain on your deck after the encounter. But we shall see. And now I need to reload one of my weapons, which is... I'll prefer the crossbow. It's ready to use next turn. There you go. Seventeen! Ooh! But I don't need seventeen though. Do I need an initiative? Maybe I'll move here so that I can still... But I'll need to have a straight line to him to be able to uh, hit him with a crossbow. So, let's do this. There you go. I'll strike you. You're dead. I'll reload you. There you go. Ooh, so the enemy actually can move twice. What? We don't... We don't have any... Oh my god. Okay, fine. But the good thing is the range of this enemy is not too far. It's just one tile. So we can still do an initiative here. Do a couple wind-ups. Maybe just guard for good measure and... I should be able to kill him with... Oh, there you go. 12. Oh no, wait. This is 14 though. So I'll, I'll wind you up. 14 damage. I won't do the fatigue. Let's see if it stays on our deck. I don't think so, but we'll see. Ooh, flaming barrier. 
Entertainer, deal 14 damage to target dice. Ooh, now this one is on the proper color slot. Although my blue slot is also a weapon, but I tend to put shield there once I get one. This one deals 6 damage, gain block equal to damage dealt. I'm not sure though if I put a shield here, if it affects also the, the block that I gained. Interesting, but I think I'll, I'll probably just go with this. Gain block, gain 2 ember. When attack this turn, apply 1 burn. Take 1 direct damage at the end. So the burn, okay, pretty standard stuff. But I'll just get the entertainer. So it's neat too that when you click it again, you will see the upgraded version of the card. That just so you can get an idea. So it actually increases damage by eight. This one doubles the damage. This one. Okay, it doesn't. Oh, it increases the ember and increases block to ten. But I'll probably just do this. And we got another rusty crossbow, which I think I'll just sell. Alright, three fights done. And our HP is not too bad. So, if we look at the deck. So, the fatigue is gone. So, it only lasts until that particular fight. Which is good, right? So, if we can remove one of these, that will mean that we'll have more cards. That is just damage dealing on the red hand slot. Okay. I'm feeling a bit better with our deck composition right now. So let's try to do a random event before we go to one of the shops. Without warning, you're teleported to a dark void before you could comprehend what just happened. A deep voice appears in your head. Come, chosen one, offer up your life force and you shall receive great power. Devil's Contract, draw one additional card each turn. Ooh. I lose 10 max HP though, but I think it's worth it. Lose at a 8 max HP. Increase dam damage dealt by 1. Is this permanent? So here, you lose 5 HP anyway if I dismiss the offer. So why not just choose this one, right? That's silly. <laughs> you should have maybe just lose 3 HP here or 2. Right? Devs? Why would I choose this when I can still choose this though? It, I just lose both HP anyway. Increase limit of cards in hand by 2. Hmm, this is actually good. Although I would rather have more energy. Draw one additional card each turn. Wait. Increase limit of cards in hand by 2. What? So I guess you still draw the same number of cards. But if you have like cards that allows you to draw more. Hmm, I'm a bit confused about this one. Yeah, it just it just increases the limit of our cards in hand by two. But it doesn't it's not the same as this where you draw an additional card each turn. Hmm. I'm inclined to either go with either of these one here. More choices is good. But same with the damage, right? Okay, you know what? I'll do this. There you go. I'm now down to 60 over 60, so I don't need to rest. Okay. I can do a fight again before going to a shop. But you know what? Let's just go to the shop. Do I want weapons or items? Maybe we can buy a shield or maybe we can just... Oh, you can buy, remove, or switch card colors. So I think I'm gonna do that. As you can see here, it's quite expensive. It actually needs 100 to be able to switch colors and 150 to remove a card, which is so crappy. And the cards are quite expensive too. Holy moly. So I just wasted this encounter. I can restock for 50 gold, but why? It's too expensive. Everything expensive in this arena. What the hell? Okay. Now I can meditate again, which is always good. Yeah, no reason why not to meditate. And maybe I can just switch cards. Or remove cards altogether. 
you know what i'll switch this guard card here to here because we haven't been getting although uh, the better decision might have been to just remove the card at, at all together right so but i do get one additional card each turn so to get to draw one additional card each turn so that's why maybe it's just fine let's do another fight like i said it gets more difficult so now we have i haven't encountered this enemy before so enemy prepares to gain 16 block i can attack him or or this enemy to interrupt him i can all oh we have five enemies holy crap enemy prepares to hurl a pustule attack to interrupt what the hell is a pustule okay but the range is only one tile right so no worries uh this is three ah maybe i can get damaged for four just to reduce this Hmm. I definitely need to go here. And then deal 6 damage. So I can reload again, right? This deals more damage, but that's it. Or I can deal 2 damage. Uh, I mean, I can do 2 strikes. You know what? Yeah, so why not? There you go. Ooh, we got a sword. There you go. It deals or it yeah gives us fatigue every time we use it though. Crap, what the hell? Okay. Unlike your blocks, enemy block. There you go. So here we go. Unlike your blocks, enemy block is not removed each turn. However, reducing it to zero will break, break their guard and stun them for one turn. So try to time each stun to your advantage. So if I don't move away from these tiles here, I will get damaged by the range attacks. Holy crap. This range attack here, range attack here. 9 and 9. Oh my god. That is bad. Yeah, even if I move here. I will still get damaged. Ooh. Okay, fine. I will do a wind up. I will guard twice. And I will get dinged for 10. Yeah, 10 damage. So that means hopefully one, one of my cards, the one that gets reduced, this one will get down to 1, right? Which is appropriately named Payback. Okay. Let's see here. I'd like to kill these guys. The problem is... I can reload and then I can do damage and that's it. I want to position myself near this guy. I can actually use this, but this is too energy to just to reload this. So let me move here. Because next turn, I will do here. I will go here and then try to, to kill this guy. And then zero cost wind up. I will reload this. Ooh, I can do a slam. So I can move further away. But I can only move here or here. I can try to move here. Yeah, slam would have been nice a, a turn earlier, right? I would have taken the fatigue. Okay. 
let's see. Uh, there you go. Now, this is where the slam would be nice, but, well, I can't get... Oh, it's now costs. It costs only one now. There you go. Ooh, I would have preferred to kill this guy because this one deals lesser damage. I don't have a slam. God dang it. Okay, I'll do an initiative. Sorry. Yeah, an initiative here. Kill you. And I'll still get damaged. I'll guard. Lessen the blow. Gain 14 block, but yeah, it's still fine. Boom. Okay. Now it's zero. Yes. I just need to reload my weapon. I'll just do an initiative here. Do this and then payback. Do another wind up. Yep. We got a Demon Slayer Blowgun. So it's just a one time weapon and it costs zero to play. That would be nice. Okay, end the turn. Slam. There you go. I can move out of the range. Nice. I can actually slam this guy, right? But that would not be good because unless I can remove his shield, that would enable me to... That will stun him. Slam is four for one cost. I think I can do that. And then I can boom, reload, and then attack. Yeah, I think so. There you go, slam. So now I'm out of the AoE. I can... Oh, wait! I oh, didn't notice. There was a... That effect. <laughs> uh, the wind-up. That's why. Oh, crap. Oh, well. I can just guard twice. There you go. Nice one. Okay. Hmm. You have a zero cost wind up. Can reload this and then stun him. There you go, he's stunned. And I can still do a block. And I only get two damage. I damage by two. And then I can kill her next turn. And then maybe do damage to this. Okay, we'll see go Do we get another slam no ah 17 payback that will i don't need that much amount hmm let's see i can i will get damaged by this guy again holy crap Okay, I need to make sure to kill this one so that I just get 9 damage. Maybe it's time... May I'll reserve this one for the for the boss though. I can still heal for 30 on one of my on one of the rest encounters, right? Reload this. Mm, let's see. I can actually strike you. There you go. And I'll just do a wind up. I can reload this. There you go, for zero. Nice. Do a wind up. And that ends my turn. Okay, I'll get nine damage. There you go. That's bad, but I should hopefully be able to. Oh, there you go. Kill this guy. I could reposition myself first here, so that next turn I can go here and then hopefully kill this guy, right? I 
I think I can actually... So here's the weird thing about this. I have two energy, I can actually go like this and it won't cost an energy. And now I don't need to reload this. There you go, I can actually use car the blue cards now, the blue attack cards. But, let me just kill you for two. Man. I actually get showered, yes, money. Do a wind up, and that's it. Oh, he actually moved. He could probably do another slam, no? I can do here. Yeah. They have range attack. This is 14. This should be enough to kill that guy. Okay, there you go. I have a lot of weapons on the ground though. Alright, I get a lot of gold. Oh, a fireball. I've used this before in my two previous two uh, runs and I really like this. There's a knockback as well. Shield charge. It's a neutral card. Okay. I can keep the block for this turn with the barricade. Okay. Does nothing remove from deck entirely. Fatigue does nothing. Why? What? Play all fatigue in your hand. Uh, yeah. I'll do the fireball. I really like the fireball. It's an AoE attack as well. Okay, I get to do this. Let's see. I only have one item slot, which is weird. I thought I'll get two. Shoot straightforward, apply three death mark. Kill to gain one energy. Last one turn. It ignores block to deal direct damage. Ah, but it's only one damage though. I think I still prefer this one. Although, maybe, since these are both crossbows. This one's just one, and then it gives me fatigue. It's two, a two-handed weapon. Yeah, just sell this one. Sell these rusty crossbows. Man, my Alina is a dual-wielding crossbow. Dual-wields crossbows. <laughs> Looks cool. So, as I imagine it. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's just sell this one. Okay. Now we have a lot of gold. And we need just one more fight to be able to encounter the champion. I need a rest. Oh, I don't have... Oh, yeah, there you go. I need a rest here. I can do another fight and then rest. So that's what I'll do. I probably won't try to encounter the elites um, unless I really feel good about it. <laughs> but I'll probably just encounter this fight, do the shop so that I have more money, and then rest, right? Hopefully, I won't get killed by this fight. So, let's see. Okay, though, so these are the enemies that charges you. As you can see, if I move here, uh, at least, you know, they will miss. So, hopefully, they will hit each other. I don't know. I can move here as well. But, who am I gonna hit here? There's nothing. So, I'll probably just move here and then try to hit either this one or this one. Okay, they're not long range, so cool. There you go. I can do a wind up. And who can I damage? I can damage this or this. Cool. Let's see here. Yeah, so let's do a. I'll use the blue card because on the next turn, I might get those high damage dealing ones, so I don't need to worry about reloading this. So I only have one energy remaining. So you, sir. There you go. Oh, I have a rock, by the way. Okay. So. And I think this goes way beyond this style. I'm not sure. If I move here, I think I will still get hit by this guy. So there you go, I have this one. Interesting. But I need to move. I need to move. I 
There you go. Another rusty longsword. Can you give me uh, something that's not rusty? <laughs> if I do another wind up, hopefully that will make it so that this one dies. There you go. Ooh. The Art of War. Gain three poise. Poise. Draw one additional card next turn. Ooh. Okay. That looks like it's. See, as you can. If you notice, when I moved out, they actually go beyond. Um, th their, uh, their charge attack goes beyond that in original tile where I was at. Flaming Trap. Okay. So I can end the turn here. Ooh. They get both stunned because they uh, charge to the wall. <laughs> okay. That's nice. I can go here. Pick this up. Yeah, I think so. So I'll go here. Play this card. So I have poised three. I can do a fireball, by the way. To this guy, I think, right? No. Oh, no. Okay. So I'll just do a wind up but i don't have oh i don't have any Ooh. Re reload this and then i'll just wind up there you go all right so their stuns removed oh what the hell i have so many cards <laughs> what okay i have only three energy Dang it! Let's see here. Another wind up. That should probably kill this guy. If I go here. I need 27. Yeah, so let's move here. And then. Another wind up. What? Only 14. Okay. Right, 14, that sucks, another 14, oh wait, I still have, oh the buff, okay, I had two of these buffs, it didn't stack, like, what I mean is I thought it would quadruple the damage, so it just creates two, two, of, two buffs of these, two counters, ah, okay, I still have one kinetic, let's reload this, I won't get hit, right, okay, Mm-hmm. Okay. First a slam. I can slam him. And yeah, I won't get hit by these two and they will be knocked on the wall. I can slam and then guard for one. I think that's still fine. Okay, I'll slam you. Hey, what? That killed him. So I slammed him towards a corpse. Wait, did the slam ignore? What the hell happened there? Did the slam ignore the shield? Or the knockback damage towards here ignored the shield? Okay, either way. I guess I'm fine with that. So I'll just do this. And I don't think I can hit anyone, right? Yeah, I can. So I'll just play the fatigue. That removes it from the deck. And another instance of the. Ooh! So now I have only one enemy. Because they hit each other and. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, 34. Payback. There you go, sir. You're dead. That was uh, a bit of uh, comedic, if not very cool. Okay, improvise. I like this one. Best defense. Deal 6 damage, expend all block, and deal 1. Uh, okay. 
I don't really have a lot of things that get, gives me fatigue. It's just the slam, right? Unless I equip that rusty sword, which I won't. Deal 6 damage, expend all block and deal 1 damage each. I don't really have a lot of powerful block cards. I'll just do this. Hopefully I can switch this later. Oh, Flaming Trap. Is this better than this one? 4 damage when stepped on applies 3 burn and 1 immobilized. I still like this. Okay. Probably making a mistake there, but I will rest now. So now I can go to the champion. You know what? I don't think I actually need to, to heal. If I skip this 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be 4 times 4, 16. That would be 50 out of 60. I think I should be fine. I hope so. So let's train instead. This still three energy crap. This one two energy. This one two energy, but it increases damage. I was hoping one of these cards would be down to zero energy, then I would have picked it because that would mean a free reload, right? This one. No. Okay, I'll just upgrade another one of my wind-ups. This one will make it zero. But I don't think I can use this. Yeah, it should be the same colored card if you want to reload. So, yeah, this one would have been nice. The burn effect, I think, ignores the shield of opponents. But not the direct damage. If it ignored the direct damage, I'm sorry, the shield, then I would have upgraded this. But I will just upgrade this one. A zero cost buff uh, wind up is always good. Okay, I will do the cards. Combo finisher, there you go. So, unfortunately, it is very expensive. I can switch colors. You know what? Let's try to switch, remove a card maybe. Let's remove the guard. So now I'll only have strike cards. I now have 78. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, I could have switched colors, but I think I would like to thin my deck and remove that. So now uh, on, on my red slot, it's only all strike cards, right? Hopefully I can pick up a shield in this fight, the boss fight. But we'll see. For now, I think that's it. Okay, we have, we gain 16. I don't want to fight the elite. Let's just go direct straight to the champion. And yep, 50 out of 60. And luckily, we only get to encounter him. And there's no other minions. So his range for right now is only this, but it's an AoE attack. Good thing I'm ranged. <laughs> I actually don't need to move. For now. I can do this, but it gets exhausted, which is a waste. So I'll probably just do this and draw one card. Hopefully I'll get a good card. Ah, no. Okay, I'll just reload this guy. And then there you go. Right. Now I need to do an initiative. There you go. Do a fireball maybe? If I wind up, it increases the fireball. Nice. It will stun him too. There you go. Bam. Now he's stunned. I can do another wind up for the next turn. And that's it. And he's burned. Yeah, and he's stunned. Yeah. Look at that HP though, it's 170. Okay. Ooh, that's 34 damage. Would have been nice. But nothing we can do about it. Let's just do this. 
do that. End the turn. He gets burned. He flies off. That doesn't damage us. As you can see, it's still 50 out of 60, but it did knock us back. So we need to make sure that we're not against the wall when he does that. Another fireball. If I actually do an initiative here. He's not gonna fly yet anyway. Do a wind up. Do the fireball here. It will still damage him and knock back knock, knock him back there. There you go. Since we're ranged weapons anyway, that's only going to be to our advantage. Although again, like I said, hopefully we can get out of this. Uh, before he does that, you know, jumping thing. Okay, he's still not gonna jump. He's only going to attack, like, on this AoE cone right here. Good thing this is not exhaust. And I can wind up. And he will get stunned. The problem though is... But you know what? There's no problem. Let's do payback. Bam. He's stunned, so he can't do the jump thing, I hope. Ooh, I like this. I want this. Ooh. Let's end the turn. Okay. He won't jump, right? I think he will jump here. I'm not if I'm not careful, I will be okay. So I will move here. Okay, there you go. I will do a slam. If I go slam here, where will he really jump, by the way? I think I should have went here. Yeah, I can do a slam towards here, but the problem is... I will still be against the wall. God dang it. I think his jump is also linear. So he can jump here and knock me in. Oh, crap. Maybe I can just slam towards here. But he can jump here and I will get stunned. Ah, Unless I'm willing to get burned. For one damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. It's silly, I know, but you know... I, 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 or I can do this. No, I can't damage him anyway. So you know what? I'll slam here. There you go. I can do another wind up. And then I can do 20 damage. Bam. Okay. See, he jumped. And there you go. He knocked me back out. I think that was a worthwhile uh, HP loss for me. If I do this, will it knock him back? No, if I cast it here. So, you know what? I'm gonna do an initiative towards here. You will not jump now anyway. Do a wind up. And then cast it here. It will knock him back there. There we go. The good thing about the burn, like I said, is that it eats up on his HP. It, ignore, it, it ignores shields. I can do a rock, by the way. No? Oh, the range is limited. Okay, cool. <laughs> there you go. St he still won't jump, so that's good. We need to reload. We need to reload. Crap. Hmm. Do I want to use this to reload? No, that's, that's not good. There you go. One reload. One wind up. I'll attack you. No, wait, what? The sh there you go. And I will use this on you. Oh, great sword. Increases damage. It's a two handed weapon, though, so I'll have to remove my crossbows. Increases damage by two area attack. No, increases damage by two, and it's an area attack. It has a power move effect. I might pick this up just to show you what power move effect does. 
So it's basically it's another buff. You can toggle it. To, I think depends on the number of um, the amount of power move effect it has. Like here, as you can see, it has one. So each fight you can only have you can toggle it once, and it will increase. So if, for example, here for this weapon, if you toggle the power move effect, it will deal a knockback. Some weapons might increase the damage, double it or whatnot, or maybe uh, do a life steal. But yeah, in order to um, so it gets consumed, you can only do it once per battle or depending on, no, not, not, or not once, but depending on how many number of power move counters it has. So like I said, this only has one. And then, since it gets reduced to zero, after this fight, on your, uh, what's that, the main menu? No, not the main menu, but the menu after, you know, in between fights and encounters, you can charge it back up to however many uh, by by spending coins i'm not sure if it's the same for every weapon or power effect but the last one that i was i remember using it cost 30 gold to be able to increase the power move effect counter by one okay let's just end the turn here so now i think it's gonna jump and if i'm not careful it will knock me back Oh, he's still stunned, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use a fireball again. I don't have... Oh, I still have kinetic. Why is this just 10? Okay. I could go here and equip this instead and now go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. If I'm confident enough. So you know what? I'll go here. There's a weapon with a power move on the ground. Take it. Toggling. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Toggling the power move greatly increases your weapon's potential, although it can only be used for a limited number of times. You can spend money to recharge it after a fight, so don't hold back. Use it to turn the tides of battle. Okay. Yeah, so let me equip this. All slots equipped are fully equipped anyway. You will discard one of your weapons in the neighboring tile. There you go. If I do this, there you go. Yeah, I'll do this one. Bam. So before he can get to me, well, he's, he's definitely gonna need to jump before he can get to me. Alright, so hopefully he doesn't jump here. Oh, I think he does. Oh, okay. Why did he jump only there? That's interesting. So I can dance around him for now, right? Wait for him. Hopefully I can slam away from the wall. So I'll probably go here. No, wait, here. And I can't really... Oh, I actually can do a cone attack. As you can see, I think it's an area attack it said, right? Increase damage by two area attack. So there you go. Yeah, that's an area attack. I guess all of those circles will be hit. And since this is a two-handed, both blue and red uh, attack cards are affected. This is not ranged though, which sucks. I'll do that. I'll do this. And then, unfortunately, I can't do anything else. So let's just end the turn. There you go. Yeah, that was a problem when I uh, let go of the ranged weapon. Um, let's see... Should I...? No, you know what? Too risky. Let's just dance around him for now. Yeah, eliminate this. There you go. Just for good measure, and let's see. Okay, now he's tired. If I have a slam... Nope, I don't. Crap. But I can go near him. And he's not attacking anyway, so I'll go here. Okay, unfortunately, yeah, it's an area attack, a circle around us. Okay, so you know what? For now, I'll just do guard. 
There you go. Okay, let's see. If I'm able to reduce his shield, then he won't be able to attack. So let's do this. There you go. Interesting. If I do a wind up, yeah, that doesn't do anything really. So I'll just do this. Okay. That was a bad move then. Fireball. Even if I fireball him, the, now the fireball will only hit here or here. Or here, or here, or here, which is bad. If I fireball, I can't fireball here. Only here, but the problem is it will also damage me for 20. Not a good idea. Okay, I guess I'll just do a strike or maybe... Oh, wait. I, I have this, by the way. There you go. And I can strike him. Nice. And still do a guard. Ooh, I could have done a knockback. Yeah, that's fine. We can reserve it again for later. Right now, it's not desperate times. There you go. He has 9 shield. And we have this as well. Oh, I think we're gonna win this one. I think so. Yeah, so let's do this. Bam. He now has 14. And one more and you're dead. And I think we won. There you go. Lots of money. Defeat Giga, defeat Giga Blade. New card unlock. Last stand. Nice one. Deals 8 damage plus 2 additional damage for each fatigue in your deck. Ooh, this one takes advantage of fatigue. There you go. And we get to choose a lot more cards, right? So, I think this won't matter anyway because this is just the demo. But you know what? Let's see. Select cards to discard from your hand and draw as many cards. Lunge, move 1, tag, and attack. And we had Watchful 3. Oh, for 1. Gain 3 block, increase in black each time the card is retained this fight reduce oh this is similar to that attack that we had but it's for block pick a card from your draw pile and add it to your hand exhaust oh this one is zero cost interesting it removes the exhaust if you're graded oh hey yo you know what i think this is good what about this 16 okay this one five I think I'm gonna do this. But again, I think it doesn't matter anyway because. Ah, uh, what does that? Yeah, after this, I think you'll see that it's the end of the demo and. Oh, an, uh, okay, so after defeating the boss, we'll get an artifact. Cool. Death mark, gain one strength when occupying a flaming tile. Gain one energy each turn. Cards no longer be removed through meditate. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll just switch them. Okay, I'll still take this. More energy per turn. Can I put this here? No, this is for bracelets. Okay, this is for necklaces. There you go. Let's see what happens after this. There you go. So thank you so much for playing the demo. Please grab the full game currently in early access to continue your progress or follow and share it with your friends. It really helps us get the word out definitely a good game um the concepts and mechanics are great so there you go two rogue well no not two roguelites but another great roguelite upcoming when they release this i hope that uh, it gets the attention that it deserves but for now i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did appreciate if you can give this a thumbs up and hey 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 this channel it's all about gaming so if that's the content you like watching please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as always, stay safe and thank you so much for watching. This is Kenra, signing off.